I think the biggest lever I usually have is not doing stupid things that shouldn't be done in the first place. And because you can be very efficient with classical project management, but the risk, especially in a startup environment, is that you're building the wrong thing. So from my perspective, what agile methodologies um, lead to or to actually get to a build, measure, learn cycle, where you build something, you ship it out to users, you ship it out to your target customers, you observe whether it solves their problem or it doesn't. This rapidly is super important to build something that not just sounds great on paper, but that will be used. And for me, the whole agile movement is enabling these build measure learn cycles because that's what I found is the only thing that will prevent me or anyone else from building stuff for a very, very long time that will never be used. And I think that's the ultimate waste of all of that because I've had so many examples in my career where you start with an idea that sounds amazing and you talk it with friends, it still sounds amazing. Then you go into like your room and like you build it for quite a long time only in the end to find out actually that's not solving the issue in the way I thought it would be and that's where whole agile methodologies I think can come in to say like okay let's take just two weeks and after the two weeks we're going to ship it no matter how embarrassing it is but from that we'll be able to learn and inspect and adapt and continue with that so I think that is for me like a bigger part of the philosophy of build measure learn and how agile methods fit into that cycle I am Thomas I'm a co-founder of uh, Bubble and uh, catch me at the podcast Marketer of the Month.